Hello there. This picture's orange. <laughs> this picture's so orange. This picture's of an ammonia world. Now, actually, I've seen a video of the place that this photograph was taken, and uh, the, the sky is actually uh, almost red in places and just fades through orange into green in the upper atmosphere. One of the things I really enjoy doing in Elite is to uh, land on the planet and, and, and find the biological life there. Uh, you can look at the same mushroom on two different planets and they'd look completely different and I, I really like the way that the light impacts on the life forms on the planet. These look just like enoki mushrooms these do and they're just like if you can imagine being shrunk to the size of your thumb and walking through a field of enoki mushrooms. <laughs> it really feels like you've managed to capture just the, the immense, the sheer awe-inspiring, almost oppressive wall of, of this fungus. As, as he walks through it. He said it was a forest of it. He's never seen uh, quite that many of that type before. And it was on the top of the mountain in this particular picture. He, he's he's travelling between the bubble and colonia, basically. And uh, this this is uh, planet C3A, so it's a moon by the looks of it, in Praia Uc TC-Z C27-35. I, I find that I'll have this intention of going somewhere at a sensible pace and then I'll find myself scanning every single ridiculous little gas giant and every, every pebble that orbits it just because you never know, do you? And especially if you see there's an atmosphere there because some of those you can land on and, and see things like this and it's just so tempting. It's like, uh, it's like a brand tub. <laughs> go and put your hand in and you kind of you kind of want to know what it might just be like a pencil with a rubber on the end but also it could be something really cool you, you really have to do it you really have to scan it otherwise you don't know when you found your little atmospheric planet you don't know until you've mapped it what's on it i mean i've found planets that have had eight biologicals on the just the temptation to just try and discover them all it, it drives you crackers because they're always so far apart and you spend ages trundling around in your srv between patches of almost imperceptible bacteria just to make sure you've got it <laughs> and the little video he posted which is just beautiful it really is lovely shows him in a, uh, a scorpion which is rather smashing. Uh, I guess um, it's not as fast as the scarab, but it is funky because it, it's a lot more stable and, and it will go up a hill. You, you're going up a crater side or up a mountain and, and the scorpion's just really good for that actually and has a decent gun on the top. I, I spent a silly amount of time doing this fungus actually, a uh, lot longer than the commander. Um, I quite like doing the commander because he's in near silhouette. I did want to make just a little bit of um, clarity in his clothing. So I lightened the screenshot I got uh, so that I could actually see, but you still can't see his face, which I don't mind that really, because then he could be anyone. We could all imagine ourselves on that in that weird landscape. The composition is really good and it shows what a good photographer he is actually because that great high wall of mushrooms is really, it really echoes the uh, the darkness in the silhouette of the suit as it shadows itself and, and I, I really like the density of it. it. It makes me think of fairy tales of enchanted woods and I get lost in with weird colours and, and, and strange beasts that might be scurrying around your ankles. I, I think that's the thing about Elite, it, it sparked your imagination and you can imagine yourself in another world whilst you're on the other world. <laughs> it's profound, isn't it? Oh dear.